Yo, what's up YouTube? I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I'd get on and just show you what I've been working on. As some of you may know, we're work working currently on the Exodus version 2 recreation. Which means rather than building it roughly, I think the last one was about 5 foot tall, uh, this one's going to be about 7 foot tall. So around about here, maybe 8 foot, maybe up near the ceiling. But in my quest to improve the realism of the coasters that I build, I bought it on myself to attempt to make some eddy current brakes. So an eddy current brake in its rawest, simplest terms, you have a chunk of aluminium, or aluminium if you're American, with a bunch of magnets that are laying down with their poles attached to each other. Um, and basically, when this comes over the top of the magnets, uh, again, I don't fully understand uh, how it works, but this can be aluminium or copper, and since aluminium is a lot cheaper, that's what I've gone with. But you leave a tiny little air gap, maybe one mil or so, and when that slides over the top of here, it creates resistance, like physical resistance, and it stops or slows down um, whatever goes over the top of it. The most common ones you'll find on roller coasters nowadays are these ones. Uh, these are eddy current brakes. So there's no physical touching and there's no electricity needed. And I went and brought some aluminium. My original thought process behind buying the U box here, because it's obviously in the shape of a U, is that it will have one fin and two fins. So my idea was to have four magnets. So one on the outside, two in the middle, and then another one on the outside to act as like two brake fins. Um, but even at the size that, that this is, being a lot bigger than MicroConnects, it still isn't quite big enough to, you know, have four magnets in a row and still fit it on the track. Which is kind of sad because I measured and the inside of here is exactly perfect. Um, the same width as the chain. So this would have been a really nice chain stay, but can't use it. But I got these 50 mil sections instead, which are obviously a lot shorter. So it's not going to have the braking power across the entire length, but I've managed to get them quite close together. And if you can notice, I've had to basically make like a 3D printed wedge uh, along with some bits of paper just to get the distance um, absolutely perfect. So your goal is to get the magnets as close to the aluminium as possible without it touching. So if I move over the top here, you should be able to hear that there isn't any scraping or touching. There is on that one. Um, but when I look underneath it, there is actually a tiny air gap. Oh no, you can't really see it. I have ordered some bigger um, neodymium magnets, so hopefully I can not use like, you know, a hundred of these little ones. And hopefully the bigger ones will also be a little bit stronger as well. Anyway, enough talking. I know you guys want to see it in action, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply slide off these because they're just loose at the moment. Slide them off, show you a test run without the uh, aluminium on, um, but it's still going to have the magnets, but obviously they're not going to be working because there's no aluminium there. And from that, we are going to be able to see the full speed um, of when it goes down this little brake run section. And this brake run section is slanted, so it does gain speed as it goes down. So I'll show you it without them and then I'll put them back on and show you it with them.